So you've ligated your DNA. That was easy, wasn't it? Now, how do you get it inside the cells? In this lab, we will be using a method called transformation to insert our recombinant DNA into a bacterial host. There are three main parts to this procedure. First, we will make the cells competent to take up the DNA. Second, we will add our ligation mixture to these cells and use heat shock to get the DNA inside the host cells. And lastly, we will allow the cells to recover after the rough treatment they had received until now by providing them with media and good growth conditions. Now let's look at the steps in a little bit more detail. You're going to start with a nice healthy bacterial culture and we'll split it up into three epitubes. One of these will later get your ligation mixture. This was the ligation of the fragments of DNA with blunt ends. The second culture will receive a different ligation mixture, uh, one with DNA with compatible sticky ends. And the third culture will not receive any DNA. This will be our negative control. Once ready, you will spin down these cells in a microfuge to separate them from the media. And don't forget to balance your tubes. Next, you will remove the media from the pellets. Make sure to tap the tubes out well. And then resuspend the cells in some cold calcium chloride. Now resuspend these cells very gently by pipetting up and down. Be sure not to vortex. Once you have them resuspended, you will then spin them down again in a centrifuge and repeat the resuspension in calcium chloride again. Essentially, the first time is a wash step to remove any remaining media, and so after the second time is when you will leave these cells on ice in calcium chloride for about 10 minutes. Now keep in mind that longer would be better, but we have a limited amount of time in this lab. After the incubation on ice, you will start with the actual transformation procedure. Now, two of your cultures will receive different ligation mixtures. Use 20 microliters of the ligation mixture per tube. And make sure you keep track of which culture gets which DNA. The third tube will just get 20 microliters of water. This is going to be our negative control. After adding the ligation mixtures, just tap your tubes to mix them and distribute the DNA really well throughout your bacterial samples. Again, do not vortex. And then leave the tubes on ice for another 20 minutes or so. The next step is the key to the whole procedure. It needs to be a heat shock. Essentially that means that the change in temperature needs to be very sudden. So please take your ice bucket with you to the 42 degrees Celsius water bath. Once there, quickly transfer your samples from the ice into the water and hold them there for 90 seconds. And then just as quickly plunge them right back into the ice for another two to five minutes. Now following this heat shock, you will enter part three of this procedure, the recovery phase. Here you will add 500 microliters of plain LB into each tube and put your tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. This will allow the bacterial cells to recover from the rough treatment they have just received. Now what do I mean by rough treatment? Well, you took away their food, you put them into a solution that made their membranes more rigid, and you chilled them. Then you suddenly change the temperatures twice to produce cracks in their already rigid membranes, which hopefully allowed some DNA to enter, which they didn't really want, by the way. And so yes, a recovery step is definitely needed here. Now one of the things that will happen is that this will allow them to restart their metabolism and also to possibly start expressing some of the genes that are on the new plasmid that at least some of them took up. Now after that 30 minute recovery period, you will plate these cultures out on some plates. Some of these plates will just have plain LB. Some will have LB plus ampicillin and some will have LB plus ampicillin plus IPTG plus XGAL. These last ones will be used to help you identify colonies produced by cells that took up the recombinant form of the plasmid. Again, not all of them will have the recombinant plasmid. Now, on each plate, you will plate 300 microliters of your cell culture, 
please see your lab manual for which one goes where. After spread plating, allow a few minutes for the solution to soak into the media, and then flip the plates upside down. Make sure you have labeled the plates appropriately to indicate what's on each plate, and then put them into the incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Come back the next day to take a look at your results. Okay, so that's the whole procedure. Hopefully this has been helpful. We will see you in the lab. Bye.